I'm going to do a full walkthrough ship tour of the Disney Dream. I'm Jason Nucus with CruisesIt.com. If you have any questions about cruising on the Dream or cruising in general, give me a call. My number is down below and you can go to CruisesIt.com. To the right is Currents Bar. This is the adult only section. Down there is Quiet Cove Pool. That's also in the adult section. We're going to go down the stairs here to deck 12. We're one deck above the Lido deck so you'll see the pools to the left. While watching the video, you'll have questions. Give us a call. We're Disney Dream experts. We know everything about the ship. We've cruised the ship, inspected every cabin, inspected every section via guided tour. We can help you out with anything, and that's our job, to help you. We'll talk about our services here in a little bit, but for right now, let's ride the Aqueduct. This is the Aqueduct. It's a slide which encompasses the Lido deck. The Aqueduct is really neat. It completely goes around the two main pools in the center. It's see-through, so kids wave to their parents and parents wave to their kids. Eric, he loved it. He's my son. He's sitting in front of me. And I liked it too, even though he made me ride it five times. <laughs> he has no idea I'm not getting any younger. As we're leaving the aqueduct, we're still going down the same path. We're going to go up here to Goofy Sports Deck and go all the way to the back. There's a full basketball court and foosball table. Up here, there's a putt-putt golf course, and to the left, ping pong. So now we're at the back of the ship on the very top deck. If you want to enjoy the views from the back of the ship and maybe have a drink, two decks beneath us is Meridian Bar. So this is Meridian Bar. We're down here on deck 12, two decks below the putt-putt golf course at the back of the ship. To the right is the seating area, to the left is the seating area. Adjacent is Paolo and Remy. These are the specialty dining restaurants. Paolo is the Italian restaurant. Remy is the French restaurant. Open for dinner. Paolo is open for brunch on sea days. So we're going to go back through Meridian and exit out through the seating area. We're on deck 12. We're going to go down to deck 11. It's also the Lido deck. So we're at the back of the ship and we're going to make our way all the way to the front. Leaving the outside seating area, we're going into Cabana's Buffet. Cabana's is the buffet venue for the Disney Dream. The buffet was great. My family loved it, especially my mother. They served pizza, Italian, seafood, sushi, a full dessert bar, and the list goes on. Over here to the right, they served stone crab, shrimp, and mussels. I want to touch on our services just a little bit more. Why would you book with us? How can I help you? And a lot of my clients are surprised by this, but first, we're actually less expensive than the cruise line. And we have exclusive agency onboard credit offers. In addition to being less expensive, we'll provide you with onboard credit to spend on the ship. Just tell us you saw our video on YouTube and you qualify. Second, we know the ships. We'll plan everything perfectly for you. We even email you the deck plan and show you where your cabin will be located and we'll go over multiple cabin types, which is extremely important. You see, you're entitled to know where your cabin is located. Third, we're from Orlando. We're authorized Disney planners. We can help you with everything. Disney resorts, tickets, transportation, without charging you. We're paid by Disney. All you need to do is let us know what you want and we'll plan it for you. It's fast and easy. Last, we know this vacation is important to you, so it's important to us. Disney cabins can fill up quick, so give us a call ASAP. So we're right here on the Lido deck, that's Nemo's Reef, the Splash Zone. My kids spent most of their time here on the Lido deck and in the Oceaneers lab. Disney has great activities. Now they enjoyed the theater with us and the movie theater. We watched a new release, but most of their time was spent here and in between the lab. To the right is a jacuzzi. Boy, it was hot. And straight ahead is a big screen which shows Disney movies throughout the entire cruise. It's great. At night, the pools are covered so they have movie under the stars. Moving forward toward the front of the ship, we're on deck 11, the Lido deck. Up here to the left is Flo's Cafe. It's comprised of food stations such as Luigi's Pizza and Tomater's Grill. On a Disney cruise, along with the complimentary dining, the non-alcoholic beverages are included. 
and all-you-can-eat ice cream, which Eric surely enjoyed. <laughs> he also enjoyed the jacuzzi. So, moving forward. This is the adult section. That's Quiet Cove Pool. To the right is Quiet Cove Bar. Straight ahead on the other side of the pool is another jacuzzi. This is Quiet Cove Cafe. We're down here on deck three now. We're at the back of the ship. We're going to walk toward the front. We're going to stop in here and take a look at Animator's Palette. This is one of the dining venues and part of the rotational dining. It pays tribute to Disney's animation process. If you would like to see examples of the menus for any of the dining venues, let us know. We can email that information to you. On a Disney cruise, every night you rotate to a different dining venue. There are three altogether. We came from the back of the ship. We're on deck three. We're making our way all the way to the front. We're here at the atrium now. This is the center of the ship. This is the main area for character greetings and where guest services is located. Also, it's the entrance to the Royal Palace, which is another dining venue. The Royal Palace is inspired by classic Disney films. I rated the service and the dining venues as a 10. It was excellent. I asked the gentleman whether I should have lamb chops or the filet, and he said, you don't have to choose, sir. I'll bring you lamb chops with a side of filet. <laughs> and when the food arrived, he cut my son's steak. It was excellent. It's those little differences that you begin to notice. Okay, so I'm right outside of Royal Palace on deck three in the atrium. We're gonna go down here to deck two to take a look at the third dining venue. Enchanted Garden. Our children did not join us in the Enchanted Garden because they were at the Oceaneers Lab finishing up an activity. I missed them a little bit, but hey, I had been on the slide with Eric five times that day. It was nice to spend a little bit of time with my mom, my wife, and uh, my Aunt Betty and uh, have some adult time. We're gonna go back up to deck three now. There's nothing more on deck two. We're right here in the atrium again. We're gonna walk right toward the back. We're gonna walk on the ship. I wanna show you what it's like to enter the ship. When you walk on the ship, it's a great feeling. You hear the, the Disney music and then you start to see the characters. It, it's wonderful. So we're gonna make our way to the front of the ship. To the left here is Bon Voyage Bar. It's a great meeting point to meet up before dinner. And we're gonna go through this section before we arrive at the Walt Disney Theater. This section is where all the stores are located. Some character greetings take place in this section. We're gonna walk to the theater and we're gonna see some examples of the shows. We're on deck four now at the back of the ship. This is the district, the destination for five bars and lounges on the Disney Dream. This is the Skyline Lounge. The concept is you're high on the edge of some of the world's most famous cities. Behind the bar are seven windows, which are actually large high definition screens, displaying panoramic views of New York City, Chicago, Rio de Janeiro, Paris, and Hong Kong. If you stay in here long enough, you'll forget you're looking at HD screens and think you're looking out a window. From the skyline, we're gonna take a look at Evolution Bar. Most bars open around 5 p.m. and close around midnight, except for Evolution Bar, which closes around 2 a.m. This is the dance club, also hosting live entertainment, including magicians, comics, singers, dancers, and many different shows. Right outside the club is a screen which displays the activities. Or you can check your activities guide in your stateroom called the Personal Navigator. So we're going to continue to 687. Over here to the left is an area that serves hors d'oeuvres at night, so don't miss that. It's kind of hidden. And in here is 687. This is the sports bar. 
so nobody has to miss any games while on the dream. <laughs> Leaving 687, um, we're going to go through the district lounge. We arrive at Pink. Pink is the champagne bar. If you look, there are little lights in which pink elephants appear and disappear. <laughs> so wait for someone to say, hey, I saw a pink elephant, and then say, you're cut off, buddy. <laughs> We're on deck four. We're making our way to the front of the ship. We're going to stop by the D lounge and take a look. The D lounge offers a variety of activities. There's a screen at the entrance so you can take a look and see what they're offering. If you enjoy Disney art, these artworks are for sale. So come on in and take a look. If you like a work of art, you can take it home with you. So we're gonna go out here and take a ride. We're gonna pass the atrium again. So we're one deck up from where we were the first time when we went by the atrium. And we're gonna take a look down there this is where most of the character greetings take place. Also, this is where you arrive onto the ship. To take pictures with the princesses, you must have a ticket. They're free. When you get on the ship, go right to guest services and make your reservations to take pictures with the princesses. It's very important. Peter Pan was great. He played with the children for a long time. He, he was awesome. He had a lot of stamina. He must be like the Navy SEAL of the uh, Disney characters. <laughs> We're walking right through shutters, so inquire here about their photo packages. Disney employs photographers on the ship who will take unlimited pictures of your family for one price. If you would like this service, let us know. We can save you 15%. We're going into the movie theater. Buena Vista Theater, look right outside the theater to see what's playing. The theater shows new releases. I came in here and watched a movie. After about the second day of watching shows and playing on the Lido deck with my kids, I was wiped out. I snuck away and came in here and watched McFarlane with Kevin Costner. And my children watched Big Hero 6 before being released to the public, which was great. They served popcorn right outside the movie theaters. So and don't forget to keep your eyes open for the enchanted art. There are 22 works of enchanted art throughout the ship. They're great. We're here on deck five at the back of the ship. We're up one deck. We're going to tour the kids areas. This is the Oceaneers Lab. It's connected to the Oceaneers Club. They are both for children ages 3 to 12. Activities for the older kids are offered here in the lab. For example, the night we dined in Enchanted Garden, my children were participating in a science experiment. And this is the Oceaneers Club. It's mainly for younger children, which has rooms that are decorated to simulate Andy's Room, Monsters Academy, Pixie's Hollow, and Disney's Explorer Pod. A great thing about the uh, kids areas is that they are all equipped with a hand wash before the kids enter. So they all wash their hands. And this is the nursery. This is for ages three months to three years old. So we're going to take a look at the edge. This is the edge for tweens, age 11 to 14. Activities include scavenger hunts, cooking classes, karaoke, computer games. Kids can come and go as they please. This is the vibe for teens 14 to 17. They also come and go as they please. The vibe is an extraordinary area. Teens adore it. It's even equipped with its own pool. <laughs> Once teens go in, they never go out. <laughs> Thank you for joining the tour. My name is Jason Newquist. If you have any questions about the Disney Dream or Disney cruising in general, please give us a call.